In today's episode, we explore the Northern State Insane Asylum. In the first decade of the 1900s, Washington State had two hospitals for the criminally insane. The Northern State Hospital opened May 27, 1912. The hospital was one of three mental hospitals in the state and was also known by the names of the Northern State Hospital for the Insane and the Northern State Hospital for the Criminally Insane. The first buildings on the hospital campus opened in the fall of 1910 and was used for both planning and administration purposes. In 1911, the hospital was separated from the Western Hospital and became the largest hospital in the state. When the Northern State Hospital officially opened, it only contained administration building and a few wards. Dr. James Winfield Daughtry took charge on January 13, 1914. While at Northern State, Daughtry succeeded in implementing new ideas that were changing the often misguided and exploitative care of mental patients nationwide. Treatments were consistent for the times, however, and many are now considered barbaric. Doctors and nurses administered regular electric shock treatments to many patients, including women incarcerated for menopausal depression. Heavy sedation, sometimes with experimental drugs, was common. Insulin coma therapy was employed, and some patients beginning in the 1940s received a new wonder cure, the transorbital lobotomy. Approximately 1,500 people are buried in the Northern State Cemetery, with only a few of them having initials and patient numbers on their tombstones. Since the hospital closed, the grounds fell into disrepair, and many of the grave markers that identified the deceased patients by initials and patient numbers were removed, stolen, or sunk in the mud. Thousands of people died while confined here. Unless a family member claimed the body, the disposal was upped to the state. Most of the patients were known to be of a Protestant faith and were cremated in an on-campus crematorium that operated from the 1912s to the 1950s when a funeral home took over the burials. Years after the furnace was shut down, hundreds of cremated remains were found stored in food cans bearing patient numbers. They were eventually laid to rest in a mass grave at Mount Vernon Cemetery. So we're coming up here on the first set of houses. Oh yeah, looks like uh, the farm part of the uh, property. So we're out here checking the corners. Yep. I'd like to do that myself. I know. Uh, 
That's really cool. Next one. Yeah. Patients who were functional spent the day working at the varying facilities around the hospital. They could farm, help raise livestock, work at one of the lumber mills or factories, or help run the bakery. The idea was for the Northern State Mental Hospital to be self-sufficient colony for the mentally ill. The institution was decked out with 700 acres of farmland. It's this huge, huge building. Kind of trough, must be water system here. It's got to be for water and feeding the animals. Such cool barn architecture. I actually really like the uh, colors of this ceiling. This farm had its own dairy plant, water reservoir, a lumber mill, a quarry, its own sewer system, a steam plant, and a greenhouse, plus a canning facility, a gymnasium, a bakery, and of course, housing for all the staff and patients. This farm is really, really crazy. Just about to now. Okay. Yep. Yep.
Wow. So yeah, they would uh, put them in the troughs and uh, have them feed mm -hmm. while on the back side here, be milking them. Milk machine. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you're up at sunrise and going at sunset, and hard labor too. Physical labor. Not just labor working behind a desk, pushing a pen. Some kind of wood fired uh, steam, no, not steam. Crematorium? Where they burned the incinerated the, the patients after death? Uh, Could that be it? That, or that looks like a boiler to me. Boiler? Boiler room. Water tank. Yeah, it definitely looks like a boiler. See a ghost. Free candy too. Fun game. <laughs> Wonder if we'll find Freddy Krueger's gloves in here. Nope, that's no longer connected. Let's see if I can get a picture down here. This is where I would put all probably the wood to heat the heat the water. Yeah, this one, the roof's completely collapsed. Yeah, this is uh, crazy. This has got the spider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they tore down the place. Yeah. 
<laughs> and just look what they've done with the place. Yes. I'm gone for a week and look what happens. Here's the electrical room. That's cool. Watch out for nails, bro. Oh yeah, I'm looking. This building here yeah those are cool little towers too on the roof A okay. big one too. Many of those admitted to Northern State were immigrants, a result of the concept of racial cleansingness. Like today, the general idea of mental health was poorly misunderstood, so many people who simply needed care were lumped in with people suffering from real mental disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Yeah, the news. <laughs> there's the cerebellum, there's the medulla oblongata. All right. All right, love the artwork, love the artwork, folks. All right, good literature, good reading material on the walls. All right. It's good words to live by there on the wall. Yeah. Captain Athletic over here. I don't got no tools for the strength. The strength of street knowledge. Wow, here's a bowling alley. Nice pick, nice penis. Now, 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 we'll have none of that. Thing that used to encase these, but I don't. So definitely, it was not was not a not a garden. Looks like their marijuana, need to keep it hidden. Could be. There was a fire in here. Oh yeah, I can see some of it. That's actually charred, really charred wood that's been re-roofed. Oh yeah, you can see where they. Yeah, re-roof it, portion of it. Why would they re-roof it and not let it just fall down like the other structures? Yeah, that I don't know. This has definitely been repaired. I mean, that's obviously new timber. Well, newer timber. Yeah, no, it's definitely... Let me see if I can lighten it up here. 
Yeah, there we go, just for sake of seeing what I'm seeing. So that's all burned timber, but yet they patched it with new, only point. to leave some gaping holes there that's blinding the camera, but that that's weird. That is weird. I don't, I don't understand that. Because that's clearly charcoal wood. I mean, that's, that's burnt. There, that's probably the best best view of it on the camera there. Many who were admitted into the asylum weren't crazy at all, but were just suffering from short-term episodes. Rebellious teens, depressed young adults, and women going through menopause were often sent to Northern State as a way to, quote, straighten them out. This is definitely stable. Stables. So much. Work stables? Yeah, so much frickin'. Oh yeah, these are stables for sure. For sure. Murder shed. Or that. Nice. There's actually some Halloween artwork in here. Like actually just Halloween artwork. Yeah, these are definitely stables. Look at the pretty flares. He's going for it. Yeah, there's actually like little artwork in these. It's kind of weird. Weird place for a uh, genuine little bit of artwork here, huh? Lots of nice artwork. Second story on this too. This is definitely some sort of stables. There's uh, hay and damn, I wish I was more athletic. May you get up on the second floor? I would. But did you see the sign on the front of this building? Uh-uh. Okay. What's it say? Let me show you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the building we're in. Oh, lovely. Just saying, so don't fart. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... old mental institution. I think this part of it is the actual locked part. Yeah, this has no trespassing yet. Yeah. We going around that way or this way? Which way you want to go? Tackle first. Yeah, let's go. Let's go through the front first, or around the front. Maybe checking some of these windows. Yeah. Oh, it's a shower room. That is a shower room.
changing it's a bathroom yep like many mental asylums of the 1900s experiments were performed on patients some of which may have been part of the top secret program called MK Ultra. Old mental institution. Patients were subject to quote treatments like electroshock therapy, insulin shock therapy, and lobotomies, all of which are incredibly controversial and considered inhumane. Heavy sedation with powerful drugs was also a common form of treatment. Lobotomies were a relatively common procedure in the 1930s through the 1950s. Doctors would drill a small hole through the skull and into the brain to cure various mental disorders. The procedure almost never worked and usually resulted in horrifying after effects. An actual room, like a like a uh, room that you would be assigned. Okay. Looks I like a bedroom, it. basically, like a. I think that what that last room is over there to the left too. I think. It's really go, small. Oh yeah, I'll go check it out. I think it's the same thing as this here. An old dishwasher. Crazy. You can just feel the coldness coming out of these. Yeah, it's cr it's really crazy. I mean, oh. I bet you it's a good, what, 20 degrees cooler in there? Oh, fuck. They, there's a camera right here. A camera right Yeah, here. look. I'm looking, and we're problem. looking at it. No, we're looking at each other. It's a security camera. Ah, say hi. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to deter some people. Yeah, these gotta be call buttons. 
Although new, newer version, of course. Right. This place is supposed to be extremely haunted. The remains of hundreds of cremated patients were found stored in food, tin cans bearing their patient number. Rumors say some remains were packed in the hospital's canning facility by other patients. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, these I believe are patient uh, rooms. Oh, no, wrong button. Hello. It is crazy how cold it is in there. I know, you can, you can literally feel it almost like a breeze hit you. Looks like there's chains on the floor, but it's leaves. This is spooky. Look at this guy out here, Poses Malone. <laughs> That's my nickname, Poses Malone. Yeah. You may have caught my rebounds. <laughs> it's crazy. The abandoned halls of the Northern State Mental Hospital are crawling with all manners of creepy characters and stories. With so much death, suffering, and high strangeness going back over a century, it's difficult to imagine this facility wouldn't be home to some sort of paranormal activity. Most who were admitted weren't crazy or mentally ill at all, and they were wrongfully sent to the asylum to live out the rest of their lives. These people were experimented on, died at the hospital, and buried or cremated right on site. It's hard to believe that these would have been happy spirits and souls. Those who visit the vacant buildings in the asylum have reported some strange phenomena. Cold spots, feelings of being watched, disembodied voices are all common occurrences. Some have even seen strange shadows darting across the graveyard. The most encountered spirit is a young girl in the red ball, a man chasing after her. These have been seen running through the maze-like halls of the old hospital. And some have even seen the girl standing in the graveyard as well.